This lesson shows monitoring operators how to run reports on the system as another way to monitor it. After completing this lesson, you will be able to generate reports on the system. After logging into the software, the home page displays five tabs to the center left. We will start with this tab. The reports page loads. Monitoring operators can generate reports about the system. To see available default reports, scroll through the list by clicking here. Most of these reports give information on how the system is configured, such as this one. This report gives information on which holidays are registered in the system. However, there are a few reports that give information about identities on the system. For example, this report gives information on transaction history. In other words, it provides information on all activity generated by identities on the system over a set amount of time. If you click on this icon, the system generates a default report in PDF format, meaning it generates a PDF of the last 2,000 transactions that occurred on the system. Click this icon to generate the default report in CSV format, which can be open in Excel. These reports can also be automated so the system automatically sends, for example, the previous week's transactions to a specified email address at the end of every week. Operators with the right permissions can customize reports to display information other than the information displayed in the default format. To do this, click on the name of the specific report. To customize or filter the information displayed in the report, begin by clicking here. The preview bar loads and the report filter options are displayed. To view all reports, click here. The list of reports loads. To filter the reports, use the additional fields in the preview bar. The options in these fields change depending on the report. Click here to see the options available. The drop-down list loads, displaying several options. These options are specific to this type of report. You can filter this report to display results, for example, by first name, last name, department, or embossed number. In this demonstration, we will filter this report to display only those transactions generated by an identity with a specific last name. The fields change according to this selection. Next, select the parameters of this search by clicking on this drop-down list. The drop-down list loads, displaying several options. In this demonstration, we want to search for all transactions generated by a specific identity. Thus, we will select this option. In this demonstration, we want to search only for all transactions generated by the identity with the last name that begins with D. Click here to add additional search parameters, or conversely, click here to delete the added search parameters. Click the highlighted button to perform a search using the selected filter options. Note that you must save the selected filter options by clicking here before performing the search. Click here to clear the report filter options. In this drop-down list, Decide if the search will locate all or any transactions that match the selected report filter. The search results display. Use this drop-down list to determine the number of items you want to display on a single page. Use these various buttons to scroll through and go to the various pages of the report. Click here to download the report in PDF format. Click here to download it in CSV format. To sum up, Operators with the right permissions can generate reports about the system. Most of these reports give information on how the system is configured, but some reports give information about identities. You can download these reports in PDF or CSV format. You can also customize reports using the various buttons and fields at the bottom of the page.